Hi! I'm going to make a seashell out of earthenware clay today. So first I've got my lump of clay. I'm going to squeeze it out into a long coil, roll it a little bit to even it, and then I'm going to flatten it. If you have a rolling pin and it's okay to use, go ahead and roll it out. But if you don't have a rolling pin, it's okay to just flatten with your palms against your board and turn it over often because when you turn it over, then you bring up that nice flattened side from the board. Okay, so now I'm going to take the clay and spiral it. The idea is to have this peak come out. So I'm going to take it at an angle and spiral it all the way across. All right, so then we don't want to, we want to create that little flap here. So the idea is to keep this kind of loose. And then we're going to cut this off. It's really thick. If I leave all that on there anyway, it's thick enough that it would blow up and too thick to be appealing for a shell because shells kind of sit at an angle. I've got mine sticking out a little bit more, but that's okay because shells are very, everyone is different. Okay, so, oops, I said I'm not going to let that flat press down, and I let it press down. Okay, so now I'm going to take my fingers and squeeze those little peaks. Just very gently. People with smaller fingers might have an easier time with this. I'm trying not to press hard because I don't want to leave fingernail marks all over. So I'm just gently grabbing some of the clay. I've always wanted to make seashells. I've got to open that flap up again. I've always wanted to make seashells just to feel like I've got some connection to the beach. I don't get out much. They're not, they're not that easy to make, but this is kind of a simplified way to make them and get that seashell look. I'm not going to say pinch because if you pinch, it usually gets so fragile that it comes off. And of course, just as I said that, I just pinched a tiny bit off and ended up kind of smoothing it back on. Here we go. Some more. Until we get up closer to the top. And anything that looks annoying or kind of unbecoming, you can just kind of smooth over so gently you decide. And it um, wasn't something that came to me right away the first time I tried to do a seashell. I ended up squishing the clay and doing it again a couple of times. So be patient with yourself. It's not something that just um, you instantly do. And then again, maybe you're luckier than me and it could be. So then we shape a nice little peak up here. And you can embellish with some super soft, subtle lines. Bring that flap out again. Soft, soft, soft lines that you can barely see. Kind of cleaning as I go. Every time I look at a new spot, I see a spot that left a fingernail mark. So I'm going to softly erase those. So some of you are probably thinking, ooh, that's earthenware clay and it's going in the kiln, it's going to blow up. Well, actually, because I sliced off 
that portion at the bottom before. This is all hollowed out. So now all I'm going to do is scratch and wet where it attaches there we go so that it stays there and doesn't unravel there and if I you know looking closely at this one I see some little dots so I'll put some of those little holes in the little pits from being in the sand And you could play with the seashell shape for a while. There's little um, creases, oops, little creases up here that could be put in as well. There. All right. Well, I hope you like this. Thanks for watching.